<laughs> like this what you're doing the Ohio State stuff. I'm the oddball. I'm from South Carolina. Hey, I've been a Roll Tide fan since oh, 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 I live oh, 10 oh, minutes oh, from Clemson, so I catch it a lot. Uh, <laughs> my standard answer is you get 18 championships, we'll talk. Next February will be 30 years ago I came stayed a week Amen. Amen. If this, will, Amen. this is what God wanted us to do. Amen. Amen. When my wife and I were going to the mission field, Fellowship Track League gave us more gospel tracks than there were people in the country we went to. <laughs> we didn't know it, but we were a distribution center back in the 80s in the West Indies for Fellowship Track League. Amen. Amen. Come home on furlough, the Lord gave us our Samuel. We knew our lives in ministry were going to be different. We were praying what would the Lord have us to do. Three months after Sam was born, Brother Pennington had a massive heart attack. 51 years old, pastoring the church, directing the printing, and traveling as their only rep. And three months after his heart attack, he asked me to pray about becoming their first full-time representative. I said, Brother, I love you. pray for you every day, but no. He said, why? You'd be perfect for this. I said, Brother, being a representative of anything means deputation until Jesus comes. <laughs> Threaten any missionary with that idea. <laughs> He said, well, pray about it, talk to your pastor about it. Went to church early that night and got my pastor to the side and told him. He said, praise God, that's just what I've been praying for. And I said, you call it. <laughs> Called the mission board we'd served with for years and talked to one of the directors. And he said, well, I don't know anything better you could do. Go get busy. I said, well, um, um, somebody's got to say no. Well, what about the board? He said, oh, we got a meeting tomorrow. I'll take care of it. <laughs> well... Two or three days went by, I called him, and he said, are you in Ohio yet? And I said, uh, no, I was waiting to hear from you. He said, I told you to take care of it. They're fine. Go. <laughs> so I came up and spent a week with Brother Bennington and everything that was going on here. And the verse that the Lord nailed down in my heart that this is what he wanted me to do Amen. is 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 10. Now he that ministereth seed to the sower. Amen. 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 We have the church planners, we have the pastors, on and on, but God took note of someone who would minister seed to a sower. Amen. Yeah. I was at a conference early with working with the track league and reps of similar ministries usually end up eating lunch together, get to know each other and what's going on, and these two fellows work with a different printing ministry. And they just off the cuff said, what's your quota? I said, my what? They said, your quota. I said, for what? They said, how much money do you have to raise for the track league per month or per quarter? And I just shook my head at them. They said, you don't have a quota? I said, no. They don't tell you how much you got to go out and raise every... I said, no. Well, how do you do what you do? I said, well, when I went and spent the first week with the pastor in the, at the ministry and seeing what God was doing there, he told me, God has to call you to do this. We're not hiring you. We're not paying you. God has to call you to do this. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you're not accountable to me, but to God. Amen. Amen. That's good. And Amen. they looked at each other and said, we'd rather have a quota. <laughs> <laughs> well, my answer was, I'd rather have a ministry. Amen. God's called us to work for this ministry. Amen. I was telling somebody today, even the few years we left and worked with the mission agency, we lost support because I was still representing the track league. They said, we brought you back to tell us what you're doing, and all you talked about was the track league. We're not supporting you anymore. Oh, well. But this place has been in my heart. Amen. Amen. And to see what God's done here, Amen. how can you not have a party? Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 Appreciate Hello. you. Amen. They'll do you right. I, I mean that. But John, how many mail centers do we have in the, in the country now? Twelve active mail centers. Yeah, we've got uh, we have mail center in India. We got one in the Philippines. We have one in Mexico now, and we also have one <laughs> India. Yes, thank you. Amen. I don't know who told me that. Anyways, India. We got one in India as well, but. Uh, 
Pray for that, amen. And that, you know, how many mail is, I know Brother Gwen, how many mail center people do we have here? People that are from the mail center. Brother Gwen, would you stand up if you're with one of our mail centers? I think he's the only one here right now this year, amen. Brother Clark's church, what's that? Brother Luloff, where you at, Brother Luloff? Stand up, Brother Luloff. They got a mail center in Detroit area. I know somebody's here from Brother Clark's church. How many here from Brother Clark? Why don't you stand up, amen? Go ahead, you can stand up. Maybe you got me. You got a bad knee. You can't stand up. Just stand up for you, man. <laughs> amen. You know these people. They do. They ship tracks around the country. Amen. All of them. Amen. They do. Amen. They do. Amen. 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 One more. What's that? Brother Bruce. Well, there he is. Come on up here. Amen. Go ahead. I'm sorry. 